5 to 11 servings of bread, cereal, or rice. What? 3 to 5 of vegetables and 4 of fruits is best. Their antioxidants and fiber help you to digest. Welcome to one of the past HC exam question videos. We're going to do in this video, we're going to cover this exam question, which comes from the importance of cleaning this chapter. While doing a second, I'll read the actual question. Once I've read the question, you get about five seconds to pause the video. Once you've paused the video, attempt the question. And then when you're ready, press play and I'll go over the actual answer itself. So the question is, on a ship at sea, there's an outbreak of a disease affecting the human digestive system. Explain how the cleanliness in water, food, and personal hygiene practices on the ship could assist in controlling this disease. And that's worth five marks. So when you're ready, press pause, attempt the question, and then press play when you're, when you're done. Welcome back. All right, for this question, it's worth five marks. It's worth a decent amount of marks. And it says the verb explain. So it means you have to name and explain. It also says you should have talk about water, food, and personal hygiene. So what I would suggest is you would have first kind of answer what you would do first. is you talk about how disease can be transmitted. So how disease is transmitted. And I'm talking about, you know, like uh, direct to direct contact or indirect. So through the air or food or through direct contact. So how disease is transmitted should be something that you include in your answer. And then you can have dot points or just write it out. I wrote it up, but you can also put that into dot points where you just name five because it, says, it gives you five marks. So just be safe and then name five practices. And because the question itself says food, water, and personal hygiene, I would make sure to have at least one of each of these to have covered that as well. But overall you should, yeah, five would be a good number. So what I wrote, first part is how does this disease just transmitted? Transmission can occur through direct, so that's person to person or indirect means, so the contamination of food or through the air itself. To reduce the risk of an outbreak, these ways of transmissions have to be looked at and minimized. So we're saying the ship itself has an outbreak and it can be transmitted through either person to person contact or through indirect means such as the air or contamination of food. And if we want to control that, we have to look at these different means. That's what that means. And then I just mentioned them. So to encourage use of tissue paper when sneezing, that was a personal hygiene one, which would reduce the risk of pathogens trans being transmitted through the air. It gets your marks. So we first we've named it. So the use of tissue paper. Then we've explained it because that reduces the risk of tr transmission through the air. Then the second one was food, is store food should be stored properly. For example, stored in a fridge, because that reduces microbial growth in food. So first we've named it, then we explained it. It's also worth our mark. And next is, I've gotten written to them, boiling of water before consumption kills any path, potential pathogenic pathogens that might be inside the water. So first we've named the measure, which is boiling of water. So that was the water part. And then that net, the idea behind it, so the reason why we do it, is because it kills any potential pathogens that might be inside that water. That gets the mark as well. And isolating the sick reduces the risk of person-to-person -person transmission. That's quarantine. That's another one that gets your mark. And then I wrote, last but not least, personal hygiene procedures such as washing one's hands and taking regular showers can also further reduce the risk of pathogenic transmission by killing pathogens found on the skin and hair. Right, so here we just mentioned five points, and you could have also put that in the dot point form, as long as you made sure you mentioned the actual you named it and explained it. But that would be worth five out of five. And where this question come from? It came from this syllabus dot point, which says explain why cleanliness in food, water, and personal hygiene practices assist in the control of disease. So more or less exactly that question. The question itself was explain how cleanliness in water, food, and personal hygiene practices on the ship could assist in controlling this disease. So all they've added, I mean, they took that dot point and added on this ship. But apart from that, it was the exactly the same dot point. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.